This question belongs to operating system subject and was asked in GATE CSE 2023. So the question states, consider the, the two functions INCR and DSCR shown below. So we have INCR function which does weight on the CMA4 variable S, does X equals to X plus 1, then does signal on S. We have DCR variable that does weight on S, X equals to X minus 1 and signal of S. There are 5 threads. So we have basically 5 threads out of it. 3 does INCR operation once. Out 5 threads each invoking INCR once. And 3 threads. So totally we have 8 threads in which 5 does INCR once. And 3 does decrement operation once. On the same shared variable X. So X is a shared variable among both these functions all the threads. The initial value of x is 10. Okay. Suppose the two implementation of the semaphore s is as follows. So either s can be a binary semaphore or a counting semaphore. In implementation 1 it is a binary semaphore with initial value 1 and in implementation 2 it is a counting semaphore with initial value 2. Let v1 and v2 be the values of x at the end of execution of all the threads with implementation i1 and i2. So here we will get a v1 value and a v2 value after execution of all these 8 threads. Which one of the following choices corresponds to the minimum possible value respectively? So we have to find the min v1 and minimum possible value of v2. Okay. So let us see how we can do this. Okay. See, first case is when we have a binary semaphore. Binary semaphore. So what is the value of semaphore? It's 1. It's a binary semaphore and we have weight or signal which means there will be mutual exclusion. Mutual exclusion is guaranteed which means at a time only one process can be in critical section. So if we have x initially as 10 then 5 operations of this increment will, do, will be done by the 5 threads. It will increment it to plus 5 and then 3 decrement will be done. It will be done minus 3. So x will have a value 10 plus 5 15 minus 3 12. In every case. Whatever be the case, if we have increment, decrement, increment, decrement, increment, decrement, then two increments, whatever be the permutation of all these eight operations, we will always get a 12. So minimum of V1 is 12. Now let us see the second case. In second case, we have counting semaphore. We have a counting semaphore S. Counting semaphore S. So what is the value of s? s is 12, 2 and the value of x is 12. Okay. So as we have counting semaphore 2, which means at a time two threads can execute their critical section. As one of the thread will make this 2 as 1 and will enter the critical section and then another thread can also enter critical section by making this 1 as 0. Okay. So two threads can be in critical section at a point of time. Thus mutual exclusion is not guaranteed. So we may be able to get some other minimum value. Okay. So let us break down this complex statement. So increment can be break down into three parts. Load x, increment x, and store x. See, or even I can write it more clearly. Like load x in register R1. Increment the value of register R1 increment r1 store r1 in x and similarly i can break down it as load x in r2 increment r2 and then store r2 in x okay now let us see the operations we have initial value as 10 not 12 okay we have x as 10 so what happens now so initially x is 10 and s is 2. So suppose one of a thread comes to this increment operation. Okay. So semaphore value is reduced by 1 due to this weight. Then it loads the value of x which is 10 in register R1. So what R1 has? R1 has 10. Okay. Now suppose this process gets preempted. This thread gets preempted over here. So preemption is done over here. Now, another thread comes and decrements R2. So, it does weight. So, S is reduced to 0. Now, it load X in R2. So, R2 has a value 10. 
Now can any other thread come? No, as semaphore value is zero. So either thread one will execute increment or thread two will execute decrement. Suppose thread one executes the increment, so it increments R1 to 11 and store R1 in X. So what is the value of X? X is 11. Now suppose one increment is done, four increments are remaining. Let us suppose we do all the four increments. So 11 is incremented by four, so the value is 11 plus 4, 15. Okay. So all the increments are done. Now we come in this decrement. So here we will decrement R2. So 10 is decremented to 9. Here we do not use this global x. We use the value stored in the register R2. So 10 is decremented to 9 and store R2 in x. So x is updated to R2, which is 9. One decrement is done. Two decrements are left. Then we perform two decrements. 9 minus 2. The value is 7. So final value is seven. Why it happened? Because mutual exclusion was not guaranteed. Thus, we can have two threads in critical section. So V two is seven and V one was twelve. So answer is twelve and seven. Option C.